It is my pleasure to present the fifth annual Georgia EMC Community Service and Volunteerism Awards. EMCs are major corporate citizens providing leadership in economic development, tourism, education, school and youth programs, charitable giving, community support, and much more. We hope these awards will further serve to spotlight all of your many efforts. Thank you to everyone who submitted applications. We had several impressive nominations this year for volunteer employee, volunteer director, and EMC of the year. As in years past, we asked our friends at the Georgia Department Community of Affairs to serve as judges for the awards. We had three new judges this year, including Division Director of Community Development, Rusty Haygood, Director for the Georgia Commission for Service and Volunteerism, Linda Thompson, and Director of Regional Community Service, Kareem Thornton. Each of the winners will receive a plaque and $500 donation in their name to the charity of their choice. At this time, I would like to recognize the winners, and I also would like to ask to please stay after the annual meeting concludes to take photos. The 2015 Volunteer Director of the Year has served with his local volunteer fire department since he was 18 years old. He has held every office within the department and is in charge of their annual barbecue fundraiser. He was instrumental in starting a scholarship to honor a fellow fireman killed in the line of duty. He has been involved with this county's Young Farmers Organization since 1980, holding many of the offices there as well as serving on several of the committees. He has been named State Farm Family Finalist, Most Active Member three separate times, and received the auction award for his work with the Young Farmers Equipment Auction to provide financial support for the local FFA chapter. Each year, he works for months to secure donations to the annual Young Farmers Christmas Auction and makes several donations himself. He has helped to raise more than $90,000 over the last 14 years to support local families in need during the holiday season. His relationships and communication with local school teachers and administrators has been key in promoting the opportunities that the EMC has to offer through foundation scholarships and Bright Ideas grants, resulting in increased applications and funding to education initiatives. For his service to the Franklin County Young Farmers, the Bold Springs Volunteer Fire Department, the Franklin County FFA Chapter, Franklin County School System, and many more, the 2015 Volunteer Director of the Year is Hart EMC's Mr. Gary Hall. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> the 2015 Volunteer Employee of the Year has been with the co-op for almost 31 years. Described as someone who is always willing to pitch in whenever needed, this person is both a team member and a team leader. Her smile and can-do attitude is contagious, and her friendly disp disposition makes her welcome with family, friends, coworkers, and the general public. She consistently volunteers for any community initiative the co-op participates in, Relay for Life, bake sales, community service projects, and much more. But that's just a small percentage of the ways in which she serves her community. An active member in her church's outreach ministry each year, she helps prepare and serve Thanksgiving meals for 75 to 100 seniors in the community. She regularly visits neighbor, uh, area nursing homes to lift the spirits of the sick, elderly, and infirm residents who are unable to attend church services. Annually, she adopts 14 local needy families to provide quarterly baskets full of healthy meals. A regular volunteer with the local food festival in Clothes Bank, she ensures that those in need receive a warm meal and free clothing three times a year. As a certified trained mentor, she provides guidance to elementary school students, and because they are not alone in dealing with day-to-day -day challenges, students are better able to become successful learners. While these volunteer efforts alone are something to be commended, Quite possibly the reason that this person's service to others is so awe-inspiring is because she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis three years ago. On top of all her community service activities, after her diagnosis, she formed a local MS support group to help others living with the disease. The group combined their forces to raise funds and walk in the Macon MS Walk this past April. The group set out with a goal to raise $800 and ended up raising 334% of their goal $2,675, and of that total, $1,140 was raised by this individual alone. 
The 2015 Volunteer Employee of the Year is Washington EMC's very own Tina Jordan. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Jordan. Congratulations. The 2015 EMC of the Year has had a record-setting year and coordinated a number of new initiatives and projects that improved the lives of both members and employees. The co-op continued its long-standing tradition of supporting education for the area's youth by providing a record number of scholarships through their foundation. This spring, the EMC presented 44 high school seniors, each with a $3,000 scholarship. This year's $132,000 investment in higher education pushed the foundation past the $800,000 mark in scholarship giving for over 217 individuals. The co-op further supports five area schools as a partner in education where employees volunteer to read and tutor students. It is because of the EMC's commitment to education that they were named the local chamber of commerce by the local chamber of commerce as the 2015 large business of the year. This year, the co-op made informing members about the noteworthy improvement in viability of electric vehicles a priority. They invited local car dealerships to exhibit electric vehicles at their annual meeting and promote the environmentally friendly electric vehicles year round. The co-op purchased its own Nissan Leaf, and not only does the new car help cut down on fuel bills, it serves as a mobile advertisement for information on the co-op and electric vehicles. The co-op's partnership with the local Nissan dealership has led to a partnership with Nissan USA, which they continue to build on in hopes of working together to bring more recharging stations to the West Central and Southwest Georgia regions. On another front, the time recently came to update the cooperative's radio system, and this year the EMC brought together their fiber network, radio licensing, and towers with the state-of-the-art Tetra radio system to enhance not only their own communications, but the communities as well. They join forces with the local county to share a mission-critical radio system. This joint venture saved both the co-op and county money while creating an advanced radio system for emergency personnel, creating a network of communications that will make residents safer in their homes and workplaces. The larger coverage area and exceptional radio quality vastly improves communications for the county sheriffs, police, fire departments, EMS, hospitals, and related emergency providers. Without the EMC providing the backbone of its fiber optics, county personnel would not have been able to accomplish this cutting edge communications technology it now has in place. And if that wasn't enough, this cooperative also increased its membership and workload by 20% in just the last year. With the addition of the Patala District in 2014, the co-op has worked to become a vibrant part of the new communities in Southwest Georgia, improving electric service there and introducing education and philanthropic programs to members so that they may benefit from them. Their member services representatives have logged countless miles traveling through the new service area visiting schools, chambers of commerce, extension service offices, and civic groups to spread the word about their programs and volunteer services offered by the EMC. Staff has worked with farmers and residents, local businesses, chambers, civic groups, schools, and government officials. They have partnered with numerous individuals and organizations in the Patala District to make their presence known and to discover the needs in the new service territory. Please join me in congratulating the 2015 EMC of the Year, Diverse Power. <laughs> Congratulations.